What's going on, brother? What's this? Slaughterhouse, man, eh? Really? Yeah. Damn. Seen it before, bro? No, oh, bro. <coughs> They're chopping lambs' heads off. We had to censor it because the cops got on our backs about it, but... Really? Yeah, we're just showing people what, what happens to animals so you can eat them, eh? No, I was, I was shooting shit. them in the head and that. So they're petrified, they're trying to escape and... That's next level, way. Eh? Yeah. Scumbag! Do you know why they're doing that, man? No. Huh? So we can eat them. So like, if if we don't purchase the products that come from their bodies, then these people don't do this shit to them, you know what I mean? Yeah, so if you stop buying them, they're gonna stop killing them, eh? Exactly right, man. No, you just punch a good <laughs> tape. Keep at it, fuck It's a know. gas chamber, brother. That's how they kill pigs. In a gas chamber, they... they gas? Like gas chamber. Yeah, man. Gas chamber. There's one in Murray Bridge, man. You can hear him screaming from out the front. That's next level, eh? Yeah. Are you a good guy? Cheers, Not brother. many of you left around, though. Brother, hit. Keep doing this. Vegan challenge on Facebook, man, eh? Might give it a go. Give it a crack. 22 days. 22 it's days? It's free. Give it a crack out. You don't want to put that suffering in when you eat it. You're eating yeah. their suffering and their violence, pain, all that shit. So. Yeah, easy, brother. Look, I've right, right. Care, man. Anonymous, right? Yeah, that's it, mate. If you buy animal products in Australia, they're coming from these places. We're encouraging people to stop consuming them. Yeah. I guess what they do, they gas chamber them, and then when they come out, they're like stunned, and then they stab them in the neck. So he refused to believe animals still pain, and then he's saying plants do too. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, what do you think of it? Pretty rough. That make you hungry? Yeah, I know. Really. Crazy, eh? Yeah. Do you reckon people would want to eat it if they seen the, the, the process? Yeah, probably not. Why is that? Hey. Oh, I thought you see how bad they are. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I did a whole investigation or a research project on it. So oh, really? On, on veganism? Yeah. And like animal rights? Animal rights, but the whole thing in general, yeah. Well, are you, did it turn you vegan or did it stop your meat consumption at all? Uh, no, not, not really. Just, I was just investigating it in general, which is pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Dead piglets happen heaps in farrowing crates, and mum can squash the piglets. And like I've been in sheds like that myself, and there's just dead piglets everywhere. And I think it's a hidden thing in society, so we bring it out. Yeah. Exactly right. They, they hide it for a reason. Yeah, because it's not. Because they're a business, aren't they? So they want to paint a certain picture for the public. Absolutely. And do you think, like, you know, children and, you know, people that are compassionate towards animals would want to consume them if they seen. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it would, it would. They don't like us showing what happens. And a lot of these investigations, they're going in for two days, leaving the camera in there, coming back, like, randomly, and they're bringing this sort of stuff out. So this isn't, these aren't isolated incidents. Knowing what happens to them, it doesn't curb your consumption, or doesn't it? Because you understand how supply and demand works, yeah? Yeah. Like, without your money, this doesn't happen sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it, yeah. It's, Change my whole perspective on it in general. Do you feel accountable for it? Do you feel responsible for it or anything? Or uh, yeah, what your money goes to for what that happens? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because they have to die. They have to be slashed across the throat, killed, yeah. so we can eat the bodies. And you know, do you think we have to eat them to survive or to be healthy? Or yeah, well, yeah. We just gotta be more careful about it. Do you think we have to eat them to survive or be healthy? Or no, not really. Different options. We've got like alternatives, you mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Interesting. Oh, you obviously care about the well-being of animals, yeah. Yeah. You, both, yeah. you don't want to yeah, see animals definitely. be harmed, like. Yeah, of course. And you have a pets at home. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. So dogs and pigs and animal, other animals, they're very, they're all the same in the way they suffer, feel pain, want to live in peace, you know. Yeah. So like we would never, you know, put our companion animals in a situation like this, even for a second. Yeah, exactly. But for some reason we think these species of animals yeah, different yeah 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 so yeah, do you think you can care about animals while you're paying for them to be in these places or oh, listen I, I think that's a difficult question yeah uh, i think in general not, not as much as you guys 
Yeah. Whereas I had a crisis of conscience, which is why I changed. I felt like I was caring for some species of animals, dogs and cats and dolphins, but I had these animals on my plate. And I started to think about how they got there. And it started to get, get to me a bit. And I realized that my money was, was a supply and demand chain, isn't it? So without us, they don't, get, you know, the slaughterhouses don't exist without our money. You agree that uh, animals deserve moral treatment? Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, yeah. I've been working before in meat. Okay. Yeah. It's, really bad. it's bad. Did you work on in the slaughterhouse? I work, yeah. I work in the slaughterhouse. Yeah. It's taken me several days yeah. just to get on. Yeah. yeah. Horrible place to work. I don't even think we should be putting human beings in these places to work because they're killing animals all day. Yeah. And that, they get and they get their friends. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty bad all around and do you think taste justifies what they go through, the animals, or like our taste, pleasure, or our convenience? Like living in sort of ignorance of it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But that, that's the same thing, you know, that's, that's the thing, if you don't see it, you know, yeah. Awesome things, yeah, but I guess like something that we directly something we directly sort of consume like like obviously you prefer not to support war and famine in in other countries but oh, okay you're in the armed forces <coughs> but you, you, you don't consciously support killing though like maybe in self-defense like yeah so but when we purchase animal products we're consciously supporting killing of animals but if you're on the battlefield you might kill in self-defense if you had to but not like innocent, not innocent, innocent things like yeah. Yeah. people that work on the kill floor are more disturbed. Um, there's more alcohol, drug uh, abuse. There's more domestic violence with people that are working in slaughter slaughterhouses because they're committing acts of violence all day. Then they go home and yeah. they're going to be a violent person. They're seeing animals struggle for their lives. They become desensitized to violence. I think it's a human rights violation as well as an animal rights violation. You know? So with some people you can just, when you, as you're talking, you can feel them put up a guard and you have to know how to navigate around it and not to push too hard at certain times because otherwise you can push them away and then you can sort of read their body language when they want to stop the conversation as well and that, like, you got to use your discernment and your judgment when to pull out the card and offer them challenge 22 and yeah, you can do the challenge while you, while you look at some stuff and then after the challenge. would be interesting, I mean, yeah. I would not do that. It's 22 days out of your life. My wife. But she's not you could challenge her. No, no, she, she likes I mean, we're eating a lot differently anyway yeah. than we were a few years ago. So You'd be so surprised it's actually more easy and convenient and tasty than you'd think it really is. All right, thank you very much. Awesome. Nice talking to you. And try it out for 22 days. See how you feel. Another way you'll be healthy anyway. You'll be healthier, you yeah. won't be causing harm. Yeah. All right, bye -bye. Take care. Challenge 22 is like it's not as daunting to think i've got to be vegan for the rest of my life then then it you know then it is to just say okay i'm going to do a challenge for 22 days people are more on board with doing a challenge for 22 days than going vegan for the rest of their life it's like a small step in the right direction and then they can realize how easy convenient tasty cheap it can be so let's move on to the next person hello are you okay Okay. Very sad, yeah? It's very sad. It's very sad. Yeah. So a lot of people question the effectiveness of showing slaughterhouse footage. What it does is when people see it, they instantly have perspective. So they're a lot easy to initiate conversation about this topic with when they are, boom, they're seeing animals suffering, you know, and they're going, wow, this is the reality. And I feel like they are more likely to engage and to engage in a more serious way when they have this instant perspective. So it's so effective. If you don't think it's effective, you haven't done enough of this type of outreach advocacy. And then we show people what happens to animals so they can eat them. And uh, we ask if we're vegan. So we don't, don't Vegetarians still use dairy and eggs. Yeah, they still harm animals. Dairy and eggs. Sad, isn't it? 
Thank you. Thank you. It's sad, isn't it? It's really sad. Yeah, like, we wouldn't want our dogs to be in this position. And pigs and dogs, they feel the same pain, they suffer, they both want to live. Yeah. Here's a question. What do you, what do you reckon um, people would, would stop and help us if there were dogs in there? Yeah. Most people like dogs, yeah? Do you think they're any different in, to a pig? In the ways that matter? Coming about. Yeah. But even if they didn't see the process, if they'd seen a hunk of dog flesh on the on the plate, they wouldn't eat it, would they? I don't think so, I don't know. No. Not, not most people. We're pleading with people basically. We're saying animals are suffering for no reason basically, because we like the taste of them. And we have alternatives, we can have burgers without flesh, we can have cheese without the, the, the cows being abused. So another interesting thing to know is that this Adelaide chapter of AV have had to censor the footage on the screens because the public have been offended. Do you think it's strange that showing people the process of how their food is, gets to the table is too offensive? Okay. How do you how do you do it humanely? Probably differently to the way they don't even love <laughs> How do you take someone's life in a humane way? Do you think you can? I think you can, yeah. If they were suffering, would yeah. put them out of that like sort of euthanasia or something. Yeah. yeah. But not if we bred them into existence to eat them <laughs> like, and they wanted to live, you don't think that would be humane? <laughs> like if someone wants to live, do you think it's humane to take their life from them? Yeah. yeah. Really interesting that the public are offended of, at how their food is produced. It's insane. It's like, it's okay to serve the flesh in restaurants and to put the flesh on display in uh, butcher for the public to see. But the process of how it got to the plate or how it got to the butcher is too offensive for the public to see. If you look at people's faces when they're watching it, or how disturbed they are, but they probably had that for lunch. You know what I mean? <laughs> if your food disturbs you, there must there's something going on with it. Crazy, crazy insane. If your food makes you feel offended, then you have to start questioning whether or not um, it is food. No, no, no. I'm a believer. You're a believer in God? But I hate that. Do you think God would approve of this? Okay. So you think God's compassionate, merciful? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you think he'd like us doing this to his creation? Okay. So when you see that, your conscience says something to you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And who gave you your conscience? Yeah. God. Okay. So if, he, if, he, if you look at this and this feels wrong, yeah, then someone's, yeah. If you could be healthy, let's think of that, if you could be healthy and thrive, um, do you think it's even more of an injustice to knife animals to death? Yeah, if you didn't have to. If we didn't have to, like, in the Garden of Eden, they didn't eat animals, yeah? No, 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 yeah, because God didn't design it. He, he's actually really good. He's like, love, he loves you, and he, he actually loves you. Okay. Like, through me, he'll tell you. Yeah. Like, so, okay. a loving God wouldn't, a loving God wouldn't create animals to feel pain and suffer and then expect yeah, yeah. us to stab them to death to eat them, yeah? Yeah, I know, it's not good. It's not good, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, he did, that's the God of the world, the God of the world, Satan. Go vegan, you don't starve. Are you a yeah. Are you a leader? What's up? Are you a leader? Am I the leader? Yeah. There is no leader, mate. There's no leader. Yeah. There's no leader. We're all the same, man. We're all the same. We're all human beings. Yes. We just want to help animals, man. Mate. They're suffering. Yeah. So, um, I'm pretty interested in this movement. You're interested in it? Can I join? You're going to join the movement? Why not? Oh, wow. Are you a vegan yet? Vegetarian. Vegetarian, okay. So, the movement is uh, based on animal rights. So, um, as a vegetarian consuming animal products, it sort of conflicts with the ethics of animal rights. So, the first step would be to remove the animal products from your, your diet. And, um, can you take this? Can you take this? It's a free vegan challenge on right. Facebook, Challenge 22. All right. And if you want to- That's okay, yeah, that's okay. Cause I mean, less harm. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In your life, you can affect the lives of these animals, alright? You're doing a great job, mate. Thanks, brother. You're doing the best you can. You can do it too. You're doing the best you can. I really you can do it. It. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. At the end of the day, if you convince someone to stop consuming these products, you're having a huge impact. Yeah. So not just in your own life, 
but in the lives of, say, over the course of your life, you convert 100 people. That's uh, uh, less animals going to slaughterhouses on their behalf, and you've just created this massive positive impact by talking yeah. to people. So yeah. he's um, a vegetarian. He, oh, yeah. he wants to get involved with vegan activism. I've, yeah, I've told him first step, go vegan. Next step, educate himself, and then maybe like get him in there first, and Hell then yeah. he can. Yeah. Hey, Nick, man, nice to meet you.